डॉक्टर एस एम राजू आई एस ऑफिसर तथाबर गोयी अशा पद्धति जो आयुर्वेदा फुढ़े वरपा भरपूर परिश्रम घुनिक घर आसा and also calling i can say that honorable indian minister shri shri patnaik sir like a god to be the reason why when i have treated him that time the uh, supplements or medicine whatever you call it used to be looks like a dirt dirt pot so there was no any statutory approvals and is ps actually communicated that something i have done it and he has experimented so like that honorable union minister giraj singh sir and all they experimented but today because of him i am you know before you all of them otherwise in 2020 i have got retired so by that time my career could have been uh, over but today also i am working more than 12 or 16 hours as a fashion to disseminate the science as it's not a product wherever i go if i say on product i will become like a medical representative so it is not so ahari paramaush in your own kitchen everything is available but we are not authoritatively hammering that these diets are taking care of this particular health issue Best example, simple way I am telling you, as I am really welcoming our Dr. Sneha Madam, this Goa uh, Medical uh, Ayurvedic Medical Association President, that she said several times, our she is a Vishwa, you know, guru, our Sanatan uh, Ayurvedic Medical Science. As you are well aware that Shishuta is the pioneer for surgery. and there is no history for any surgery <laughs> only shushuta so that is the power of our you know uh, indian sanatan that's an ancient medical science what it has been derived through vedic literature from rigveda see now as again madam has told that we should have you know the case studies this is what honorable Prime Minister also stated few years back. I think Madam also may have been attended that program. I don't know. So in which he has stated that if you want to show the power of Ayurveda to the whole world, we should keep three parameters which are not available. He said that time for few years back. Number one, standardization of dosage and administration. See now. One Vaidhi is practicing for all diseases, one particular methodology, and another Vaidhi is another methodology. But there is no standardization. I have done it. Basically, this was the history of 40 years. So, secondly, what Honorable Prime Minister is saying that the efficacy should be like allopathic principles. Just now, Honorable Union Minister Shripad Naik sir has referred one, you know. Is the area of the patient pancreatitis? In pancreatitis, if there is a lipase and amylase variation, and he has to die, ultimately by you know level two the intravenous you know uh, you know uh, food, because the moment the problem will start, immediately vomiting sensation will, uh, will appear, and thereafter he will leave the oral food. Ultimately, has to come to uh, you know uh, be intravenous, and thereafter slowly it will go into life. But in my science, what I have developed that new idea, within a week you can see that parameters will be get changed, and the pain, whatever is there, within three days to four days it will go away. So that's the way this science is having that efficacy level for normal studies to say that. Third point, what he is saying is that. The packaging should be world class because presentable should be there. It is not there, but coincidentally, all these parameters unknowingly are included and incorporated in this, uh, you know, uh, medical things branded products. 
Now, I would like to tell you that what is a miracle? Why the miracle word has come for the brand? When I was a divisional commission in Saran, that is in the Chapra, that is in the Bihar state, evening time when I am having dinner, I used to have interact with collectors and uh, SP and uh, honorable judges and all while dinner. They used to say that, Sir, Rajuji, it is something I got, you know, a uh, difference. And doctors used to say that this problem never going to be solved. But it's a miracle. I got it solved like that. So then I thought that why can't I give the brand name miracle like that? So now, what is a new Ayurveda? The question. Ayurveda, new Ayurveda. Like what the term? As Madam also mentioning, regarding that you know R&D should be effectively out to develop and documentation has to be properly uh, made out and the case studies has to be presented etc. Similarly here it is there and now Neo Ayurveda means I am maybe the first person in the history of Ayurveda to blend allopathic principles with Ayurveda. Today morning one doctor, lady doctor uh, Harini she has called me. She said that, sir, I am an allopathic doctor, I am a physician, and I am practicing your products, and I am extremely happy, and also I am studying Ayurveda also, and according to the season also, shall I administer for the kidney, some Ritu Charya or something is there, but I am not, you know, welcome or sent on that. I told him, madam, I have developed in such a way that any lay man or any doctor can practice effectively. And now, Say for example, heart, direct heart, uh, whatever the heart disease may be there, whether it's a dilated cardiomyopathy or desert disease or blood leakage, whatever it is so, because of the diabetes, if there's a dilation. Now in Ayurveda, authoritatively, no doctors can you know, induce to their family members. I have interacted with several doctors in my company, about 40 plus doctors are practicing, uh, sorry, working. And hundreds of doctors are practicing across the country, that's different better. But they are not having pain. They are having pain on only one standardized protocol. What is that? Statins and blood thinners and beta blockers and some supplements. This is what worldwide across the globe the standardized treatment for the cardiovascular disease. Same way I have defined and I have given that book to Madam. So now you all of them are being given the entire set. So very, I have standardized for more than 170 health disorders. But here it's about 45 incurable, the prominent disorders I have given uh, in this book. So for chronic kidney disease, let us say, what to eat, what not to eat. And what is the uh, medicine, morning and afternoon and evening. And now, in the uh, current medical science, it says that once the organ gets dysfunctioned, only we have to maintain, it will not going to be rejuvenated. There is no going, uh, cell regeneration process. The same thing I have actually, you know, uh, uh, very differently invented in this process. <coughs> now here, the main, you know, the concept of new Ayurveda is, regeneration of the cells in dysfunctional organs by triggering capillaries and micro capillaries to ensure the blood circulation and also to detox the cell and also to regenerate the gut microbes, the beneficial microbes to release particular enzymes to act as a catalyst to release particular nutrients to nourish particular organs as we are having more than 70 uh, 80 organs now let us say chronic disease if the EGFRA that is the estimated glomerulus filtration rate if it is less than 15 minutes it's over it has to be undergo dialysis or the kidney transplant in my science even if it is a 6% or 7% is not required to go for undergoing dialysis because it's all on the basis of the documents made. Now I have developed one you know, landing page for the doctors. 
Once they go to that landing page, you can just click whatever you want. The CLA will automatically continue medical education. You can teach that for each and every audience. See now here, within 10 days, the edema will get disappeared. Secondly, within 10 to 15 days, creatine level will come down 10 to 15 percent, and hemoglobin level automatically increases. Calcium and uh, chloride level and sodium level will go to get you know normalized. Similarly, pancreatitis, amylase and lipids will get normalized within 10 days to 15 days. There is no science in the world. Similarly, if you take cardiovascular diseases, wherein person cannot walk, heart is dilated, and the doctor says that you have to leave as long as the body has given the life to you. Parents are, they will uh, uh, tell by guardians also. But whereas here, you may be surprised to know that within 10 days, that breathing problem will go quite fast. And secondly, ejection fraction within 100 days will increase 20% to 30%. But the physical changes can be seen within 3 days to 10 days. Such a power uh, which is having in Ayurveda. That is the Ayurveda because our science is, you know, more than 4000 years old science. And you may be surprised to know that to Nalanda University, across the globe people used to come for studying both medical science as well as other science also. But we have forgotten many things. So, thirdly, very close science. In the medical science, there is no any science for uh, solving the very close mind problem except lethal like that. Even sometimes if the person, patient is having uh, diabetes mellitus, the, uh, uh, the operation wherever it has taken place will get uh, converted into uh, diabetic ulcer again again. But here it will heal within no time, within 15 days to 1 month one can be seen. And in diabetes I am telling you, even if the person who is having 16 plus HPA1C with the diabetic ulcer, and that to the gangrene, which the allopathic science says that, yeah, even any other science says that the amputation is the only one solution. In my science, it is not required. Only the thing is, they have to follow strict diet. What to take, what to, what not to take. With my supplements, whatever you call, or medicines. As per the new guidelines, all these ingredients have been called as the L supplements. And now, if the patient who is having diabetic neuropathy, that means frozen shoulder, and there is a you know uh, kujili, there is a hitching in the uh, you know foots, and there is no sensation below knee, and they will uh, uh, sometimes they will not get sleep. Within five days to ten days, all the you know problems will get be get solved. And if the person who is having diabetic neuropathy, there is a bloody eyes, you may be amazed to see that. Within 10 days to one month, 100% it will go into the right now. And simultaneously, many persons are having diabetic nephropathy also. That means creatine level is slowly increasing. Wherein they will see the sea changes within no time. Within a month, within a month, HVA1C has uh, will come down at least 20 to 30 percent. And if the person who is having insulin, you may be amazed to hear that within 14 days, many times 60 units uh, insulin patient will reduce to 30-30 units because body is like a steel frame and which is having the inbuilt system is very strong but we do not know how to nourish it and now whatever I have defined and developed basically that's the nourishing the that unknown nutrients to that particular <coughs> unknown organ we do not know which organ what you know dysfunction has taken place and what type of hormones is supposed to be released which are not uh, releasing so thereby some you know uh, deficiency is there in the body because of that all the problems are being taking place similarly if you take chronic kidney stone problem even if there is a lipotripsy for several times again and again it is coming back and ultimately kidney will get you know, infected the CKD chronic kidney disease will stop but wherein in this treatment protocol, you may be surprised to know that if there is a chronic pain, within two days to three days, it will get disappeared. And within one month to two months, whatever the size, even 16 plus mm also I have seen, one lady, she has 
uh, you know uh, had a multiple you know uh, chronic stones in third day about 38 stones has flushed out in the urine i am having this documentation with the stones also the photographs she has also kept the stones she is working with the pre university body in the bangalore this is the four of our idea and likewise if you take uh, you know uh, uh, in the pulmonary disorders even the asthma is for the 30 years in a one month it will get you know almost complex ultimately what lungs wherever there is a lung problem there is a some blood circulation problem in this treatment automatically circulation is not and also gut system will start functioning properly so automatically the undernourished organ will get nourished that problem will be get solved similarly body chi kujli even if it is a 10 years 20 years 21 years body chi it will be get wiped out in one month i am not joking being a senior most ias officer and now i am telling to honorable union minister to get the entire thing done clinically tried in hands only because we have not done anybody can get it done in the private institutions it doesn't have you know that much value if the national level if the hems get all these the uh, uh, things done properly that how the you know dysfunctional organs you know get rejuvenated so then we can show this to the world that the power of our you know ayurveda and since you know uh, sneha madam was again and again saying that we should have more and more documentation and we should show to the world so like this and if for all i could have been either allopathy or ayurvedic doctor i could have not been that the reason is my brain could have been not working because the foundation stating that was the organ get dysfunction was the capillaries get you know dysfunction to supply blood and all so organ cannot be generated there is no science like that so then automatically our brain will be uh, thinking that you know for the last hundreds of years in our uh, medical science nothing has been uh, happened so now we too cannot like that so now i question when my father got acute renal failure when he was on dialysis then i thought that why can't i try similarly when i was having you know primitive arthritis that was happened in 73 and in 81 i had a, a medicinal plantation course so that was actually triggered me to research on this as a passion so i got it cured there of my father my father there of my son had a acute malaria it was a blood cancer in 2010 and on him along with all of the medications i tried so there of them i have really hit number of persons so simultaneously it has culminated this new ayurveda to the public is just because of our honorable indian minister shri shri father subai sir because when he i got treated in and kila singh sir indian minister i treated in honorable chief justice mr sanjay so all these persons forced me that why can't you bring this word to the public so ultimately government of india funded government of karnataka funded and we are having biggest factory in ayurveda in the country and it is having usfda facility certification also and nobody is having in the country i think like that and if you see the campus it is like you know any resort it doesn't looks like a factory i think uh, Uh, Mrs. Prabhu has visited it. I think you might have not seen in the country. It's history, and such a greenery, and it's like a Sita Vatika type, or it is a whatever it is written in the literature. You know, what it means, all the fruit bearing plants and all like that it has created. So now, <coughs> when all the current medical science, whatever it is, so get value, then only people are coming to me. They will go to the Google. and they will put incurable automatically they will see the n number of uh, you know testimonies another one mr dr venkatesh afternoon has called me saying that sir i have seen in uh, you in youtube uh, and all i am you know ortho uh, specialist allopathy doctor i am having some you know motor neuron and uh, this is symptoms so kindly i want to take your treatment like that so this is the four or five days once you show the authoritative that this is the science automatically whether they are allopathy whether they are homeopathy automatically they will come forward to take our ayurveda only thing is we should say authoritatively see in diabetes if the patients do not taper down the insulin or the tablets within fourth day the glucose level will go down so maybe i hope this may take space 
because inbuilt system will start working. Mind is, you know, it's not medicine. It's basically nourishing the cells and it's detoxing the cell. And again, I have, you know, adopted flax diet. See, as you know, somebody, I think uh, Madam has told or somebody has told, no, that doctor, uh, lady, uh, morning she called me. Sir, you have written everything in that book. For preventive measures, you have not written. I said that Madam, the same thing was asked by many people across the globe for me whenever I am going for CNP that you should incorporate it. Now I have incorporated it. Now I want to tell to you all, healthy person, if they take one glass, flax diet. Flax diet means healthy. <laughs> So, which is having 100 kg peanuts value of omega 3, omega 6, and ligands. Ligands will detox the cell. Omega 3, omega cell, uh, 3, omega 6 will regulate the cellular metabolism <coughs> the cellular respiratory system. And one glass raw vegetable juice. That is a B3, B3, bottle guard, B3, and C4, carrot, cabbage, and cucumber. And one fruit. You should leach it. In the leaching means night time you have to dip in the water, morning you have to uh, rinse in hot water and take out. And if you take that one glass raw vegetable juice every day, no cholesterol and no you know uh, blood thinner uh, is there in part. Your blood will be normal within one month. And garlic, ginger, and soaked methi. These main important ingredients which are available in the kitchen are called as a prebiotics. What is a prebiotics? Means food for the beneficial microbes which are in the gut uh, system, which are 10 times of our cells, which knows that which type of nutrients are required to which type of you know, organ. And once you get, take once in the morning, that's all. The whole gut system will get you know, uh, rejuvenated. And now you may be amazed and surprised to hear that in US, Amazon tribal spotty. The stool, it is being administered to the patients wherein there is a, some incurable disease in the Because the stool is having beneficial macros and which are being administered in capsule format, so automatically gut function will start you know, functioning normally, the whole problem will be solved. And in a stroke, if the person has lost height, lost speech, disabled to walk, 40 and everything in the same place, he is in a narak health, such persons within 15 days, he will start moving with support. Within one month, even his speech will start, you know, uh, regulating. And within one or two months, eyesight will start, you know, coming back. Similarly, in diabetes also, if the diabetic is <coughs> because of that, if the person who has lost eyesight, within three months to four months, it will get with you. So this way, the products which I have, uh, you know, invented, and define the diet so it will work. So now I would like to ask uh, you know any questions which you are having in your mind. Uh, my humble request to our learning doctors that if at all you are having any problem, if at all your family is having, you should firstly you know try it. Then you will see the results. See now I told to sir saying that sir when you have launched our products in 2016 that was in liquid form. Now it is in liquid and gastro. <coughs> and I said that I am using generally liver and gastro. As you know that Ayurveda doctors, if the gut and liver is good, the whole body will be number one. So I, I am using that. I told the sir, he will try. He just he has kept in his pocket. So that is the way the confidence, you know. That's why I am telling you, that is the power of Ayurveda. So that's why my humble request is, you know, you are all angels and you should transmit to the people who are actually lost their hopes. So like that, you know, it works. And you are all the angels. Uh, so now I would like to ask you all of them that if at all any questions are there, let me know. But for everything, there is evidences. And now I have developed one, you know, landline, uh, sorry, it was a landing page. And I will uh, send you all of them through WhatsApp. So once you open it, automatically the CME for the kidney, automatically you can see everything. Thanks to it, you can see. Likewise, for all the some uh, major ten disorders I have developed it, and uh, one by one I am circulating to you all. Of you. Please uh, ask me for any confusions or any questions. Are there. No hesitation, because I am an inventor. 
for the last 30 to 40 years. Any rubbish question also you can ask. Because otherwise, you know, abhi pura matlab tayar hokar ke aana, bolna, koi nahi zarurat hai. I have brought the uh, this one also, that uh, PPT. But har aadmi bolta hai sir, PPT se jada aap Excel ko bolye, wohi acha rahega isliye. So easily, but everything is the evidence based. And technology is there, digital technology, and everything you will be seeing in your house. No need to bother about it. I will send all the details. <coughs> and the chronic kidney disease, even if the doctor says that going for dialysis, no need. Only the parameters are the urination should not be blocked at the time. Secondly, breathing problem should not be there. Thirdly, hemoglobin should not be less than seven. Even if the creatine level 20 also, no need to bother. So if there is no any questions, then... Books is a point of... Yeah, yeah, I am giving book, special benefits. So similarly, the uh, work, Kana. वो डाइट क्या है द डाइट यू कैन ओपन द पेज नंबर 14 उसमें लिखा है रीनल डाइट एंड सुपर डाइट एंड कैंसर डाइट एंड स्पेशल डाइट उसमें भी लिखा है कौन सा कौन सा बीमारी के लिए क्या क्या होना सो एवरीथिंग इट इज अ रिप्लाई इट इज अ नो लाइक यू नो सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी इस पे किसी को पूछने का जरूरत नहीं और उसमें फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्क क्वेश्चन भी है एंड यू नो गॉड्स ग्रेस Worldwide, it has been recognized. Our office is there in uh, California, and recently we are opening South Africa. A three-party Ravi Ravi Party ji, unka madam ka liver cancer tha. Kyu hone ko wajah se he has taken South Africa as a giant venture in the company. Similarly, US me a uh, gentleman ka wife ka kuch IBS problem tha chronic. Wo tik hua, wo logo le liya US. So like that. Abhi recently we have been invited for G20 also in the Gandhi Nagar that was on the 17th and 18th and the four five countries have taken our you know science and product as a you know, giant venture. तसेच 
आयुर्वेदा बी खुबे अनुभूति आये आसा कि जेने कर बरेचे जे जे क्रॉनिक डिजीजीस आयुर्वेद आसा जे एक आसा पुण ते बरबर वेगवेगे जो मेक्युलर डिजनरेशन डायबेटीक रेटिनोपैथी नॉन हिलिंग वूंड्स ये सग्या गोष्टी सुधा आयुर्वेद अग्र क्रमांक आज खीर बरेचे एलोपैथी डॉक्टर बी हाल आयुर्वेद पेशंट रेफर कर खूब आनंदा स्वाभिमान की गोष आसा आयुर्वेदा खीर दोतरा खीर तो आसा पुण मेनली आयुर्वेदा खीर आज आयुर्वेद जो प्रचार प्रसार भारत सरकार श्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी या लिडरशिप अंडर जता हजे जर पे आयुर्वेद दोतर फाटी सर उपयोग ना एक पाउल जर फुड़े घर सरकार बरबर दोन पाउल फुड़े घर तैयार आसता जैसे आता युनियन मिनिस्टर श्री श्रीपाद भाजी हम भाषण आयोले कि सदांच हम आपके साथ रहेंगे और आपको जो हेल्प चाहिए वो हम करने के लिए तैयार है ऐसे हमारे यूनियन मिनिस्टर ने आपको एक विश्वास का वक्तव्य किया है तो उसी प्रकार भारत सरकार भी हमारे आयुर्वेद के डॉक्टर्स हैं या आयुषपैथी के डॉक्टर्स हैं भारत सरकार हमारे साथ हमेशा कायम रह चुकी है और आगे भी रहेगी इसमें कोई मतलब मतभेद नहीं है तो आज आयुर्वेद का जो परिस्थिति है वो परिस्थिति जानने के बाद अभी समाज में ऐसे दिखने में आता है कि आयुर्वेद में रिसर्च की भी बहुत जरूरत है जरूरत है तो जब आयुर्वेद में रिसर्च की जरूरत है तो मुझे लगता है कि आपके जैसे कंपनियों ने इसमें बहुत आ, मतलब इसमें बहुत कार्यशील रहना चाहिए और जो हमारे डॉक्टर्स है उनको भी थोड़ा सा उसमें सम्मिलित करना चाहिए अभी सी का एक रिसर्च सेंटर गोवा में आ गया है जो रायबद्रा में है जिसमें भाऊ भी एक नॉमिनेशन में गेस्ट थे तो वहाँ पे एक ऐसे घोषणा हुई है कि यहाँ के जो डॉक्टर्स हैं आयुर्वेद के डॉक्टर्स हैं उनको रिसर्च करने के लिए जो भी फंडिंग है या जो भी आवश्यकता है वो फंडिंग देने के लिए ये इंस्टीट्यूट गोवा में आई है तो ये हमारे गोवन डॉक्टर्स का सौभाग्य है और इसका हमने उपयोग करना चाहिए और आपके जैसी कंपनियां जब गोवा में आते हैं तो सेल एक उसमें उद्देश्य तो रहता ही है नो डाउट लेकिन उसके साथ ही जो हमारे गोवन डॉक्टर्स हैं उनको भी आगे लेके जाना उनको भी रिसर्च में प्रव, मतलब थोड़ा सा उसमें प्रवृत्त करना और उनकी तरफ से डॉक्टर्स को कैसे हम आगे बढ़ा सकते हैं जिससे कि आयुर्वेद फ्रेटर्निटी का भी भला हो जाए कल जाके आज के ही डॉक्टर्स है उतना ही हमें संख्या नहीं चाहिए और आयुर्वेद के डॉक्टर्स चाहिए जिसमें ये ग्रास रूट लेवल तक ये साइंस पहुंचना है और इसके लिए मैन्युफैक्चरर्स कंपनियों का बहुत बड़ा आ, मतलब सहभाग होना चाहिए और मुझे लगता है आप जरूर इसमें सहभाग कराएंगे और हमारे जो आयुर्वेद के गोवा के डॉक्टर्स हैं उनको आप समा, उन, उनका समावेश करके आगे बढ़ेंगे ऐसी मैं आशा व्यक्त करती हूँ आपसे दूसरा है कि आज के तारीख में वी हैव टू सी दैट टेक्नोलॉजी इज मीटिंग साइंस टेक्न वी आर सेइंग टेक्नोलॉजी इज मीटिंग साइंस एट दैट टाइम वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हेन वी आर डूइंग अ रिसर्च इन आयुर्वेद और व्हेन वी आर सेइंग दैट दिस प्रोडक्ट और दिस मेडिसिन और दिस ड्रग इज गुड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर डिजीज वी शुड आल्सो बी एबल टू प्रूव इट विद एविडेंस यस सर दिस इज व्हाट आवर यस सो दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज missing in our science why because definitely it is texted in a very nice way in samvitas in tika everything but today's public or today's research oriented people need also evidence only the text will not help and that is why we have to use the technology that is available to us and to use that technology i think uh we all as ayurved practitioners should go a step forward understand what kind of technology can be used to produce this research with evidence which will become a base for the next generation or even for us to say that today ayurved is 
giving results and this is the evidence these are the case studies and this is how it should be uh, presented or documented so this also is one very important uh, aspect which i with doctors or us should look after and uh, should go into it one more thing as a council president i would like to inform as i said that ccrs is ready to fund so if any of the ayurved doctors want to do research you can approach the council we can uh, i mean facilitate your research study and help you in getting that approval or the funding that is required as a ayurved doctor for that particular project and mostly this research it will be uh, supported if it is mostly on mineral drugs because we have c you know goa is famous for c but c is not only to enjoy but also there are so many minerals there is a big khazana in the sea and this minerals we should try to explore and how they can be used or they are already used in ayurvedic medicine but how they can be proven to show that particular result that research is something that we can do as govan doctors specifically so i think this is also one important thing that um, we should do uh, the third thing is about caution as ayurved doctors there are lot of things that we have gone through everybody knows what is the history what is the present and um, so much of um, you know allegations or so many other things also have happened uh, as a fraternity but as a caution we should un- also understand that today ayurved is going at a global level yoga is going at a global level that means that uh, see today we are saying dhyana and uh, somebody from american uh, institute or science technology they say it is mindful breathing so you know just changing technology doesn't mean that mindful breathing is something that has come new it was already there as dhyana so these kind of things we should be very cautious even um, today we are following fasting you know sankashti now shravan we are following fasting there is a science when we are following fasting but now if you just go to any social media you will just you type intermittent also you will see lot of intermittent fasting and lot of promotion happening on intermittent fasting but actually this is our science but today it is promoted as something which has come from the west so this caution we have to be uh, you know taking care of that this science is our, our science and it should not be exploited or used as something which has come from the modern just by using different terminology so this kind of uh, small you know reading between the lines which is very important as ayurveda practitioners uh, we should be very careful and i think also the pharmaceutical companies because we have seen all this while that lobbying of pharmaceutical companies is what makes the policy decisions if i am not wrong so when we are saying that lobbying we have to also be you know when you are saying that you okay you are promoting this product but you are also be ready to stand with that ayurveda physician or ayurveda fraternity when such lobbying will take place or will happen or if it happens for the negative purpose of ayurveda fraternity so this kind of things also should be taken care as manufacturers or as promoters of ayurveda as products so this uh, few cautionary measures also we have to work with you know each other support that integration is not only about science but integration should be also on uh, human uh, basis like doctors and pharmaceutical companies should integrate well so that they form a great bond and they come forward saying that no indian science has evidence has research base and today ayurved doctors also have the same level what any other doctor would practice in treating a particular disease or a particular condition so i think if this integration happens in between the society the manufacturers and the doctors we are uh, not we, care, we are not very far to say that uh, india will be a vishwa guru in uh, you know in science and technology which is already on the path of vishwa guru so i think all of us have to work together and uh, working together with a particular aim and effort towards making this science getting into a greater height which is already there but the rest of people don't know we have to make it evidence based with research papers and this uh, combined effort only can 
be possible uh, if it is possible only with this combined effort i think so on this day i would like to uh, you know specifically pass on this message to the manufacturers to the society and to the ayurveda doctors that let us work in a combined manner so that um, as i said india being a vishwa guru in science and technology is not a day very far that we will see and uh, people like Jai Guru Dev Distributor Sri Prabhu Hamkar and his family are uh, been supporting all this while since more than 20 years and so many other people also are inclined towards this science so I think we should also be grateful to such souls who have been taking this up without any particular you know agenda or uh, particular uh, thing that they need to have today he is a retired person he can have his own good life but he is serving the community with a passion to heal the community and with a passion to uh, see that you know the doctors get the right medicine to be prescribed so i think we should all congratulate this on this occasion and i wish you all a very good evening and have a good cme thank you so much